clock is ticking. Thank you for staying, everybody. I know you stayed for Paul. Uh -huh. um, Paul, welcome. Welcome to CAM. Uh, I've got the uh, inenviable task of interviewing my old boss from, from ITV Studios, uh, also a, a client for ITV in America, and also uh, we, we produce some of a and &E shows, so uh, I, I can't mess this up. Uh, it, it could have big, big problems. Mike, Mike uh, was a great colleague, and he's a fantastic executive. Uh, um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you. So, um, uh, You've been at A and E now for three and a half years. No, no? two, two, two. And a half, two and a half years. I'm out. Is it two and a half? Two and a half. Two and a half. God, I tell you what, time is going quick, uh, but not not at all on there. Um, so, I think you can say two and a half. It might not be just because you arrived at A and E, but um, sort of the the landscape of A and E channels, especially, has sort of changed in the last couple of years, where where it was very much sort of character-led observational documentary. You've become a, a heavy format channel. Why? <laughs> well, uh, you know, one of the things uh, we we felt and we feel that, you know, of course, a good uh, constructed reality show or a show that's character driven will work for us. But some of our our you know big driver shows, those shows that you can play in multiple day parts that deliver a consistent audience, are formats. And the one thing that we had done, but not to the level that we're doing now, is we produce across our brands uh, 1,300 hours of content. And of that, about a third are, are format, formats. So it was time for us to take those shows, take all that data we had, and with Haley and Elaine, just really get out there and um, um, sell those shows around the world. I think it really gives us actually uh, a competitive advantage, knowing that you have this analytics that can go deep, these insights that you, you, you can um, really um, help with your sales pitch, knowing that what the marketing was, what the promos look like, um, how the advertisers respond to it. Going into a room with that type of knowledge with, of course, the great content gives us a um, Definitely, definitely an edge. So, so interestingly, having just come off of Tom <laughs> <laughs> saying that the producer is 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 the all-knowing uh, person, actually, you kind of sit in both worlds because you've got the, yeah. the strength of the network yeah. uh, and the information, the data there, but but also some of these shows you you you're embedded with as as the production. Yeah. Well, some of the shows, uh, you know, the the terms of trade are different in the U.S. Uh, we we come up with a lot of those shows. Our executives have come up with a lot of those shows, and they've actually gone out and partnered. Uh, with people, and that's how we've developed them. And then, you know, we're looking for people around the world to partner with, not just not just you know with us in the U.S. because we have the slots, but you know we bring a lot of knowledge and insight and help them get their um, and leverage because we have channels and markets all around the world, mm -hmm. so we can bring that to selling shows. And, and specifically those... I don't think there's a one way of doing it. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm just being uh, obtuse. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Tom's completely wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was after. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But what... Uh, I mean, you look at those formats, you look at that tape, and, and, and they're very... Uh, each of them f felt very punchy. They're, they're, yeah. um, they're trying to uh, definitely ask a question. Sure. Do, do you think that defines an A&E format? Well, I, I think that... There's a lot of, lot of formats that actually work on A. We're, we're actually doing one with the Propagate guys called, um, actually, let me get the, I want to get the title right, My Partner Knows Best. And that's, that's a relationship um, stage show format in, in the shiny, shiny floor. Um, that's in the vein of traditional formats. But our sweet spot is these more authentic, sometimes a little gritty uh, shows. You know, and what what we talked about last week when we were just chatting was, you know, everyone says, oh, they're new, they're fresh. You know, well, they're only new and fresh against the landscape of the shiny floor shows yeah. of, of the game shows. They, they harken back to a little bit of doc. We put the framework in there. We, um, but once we're in that world, once we're in that environment, we let the characters and the people we cast take us in a lot of unexpected um, directions and because of that, against that other backdrop, this does seem new. It does seem fresh. It gives you a little bit more of a lean in, you know. And what I love about the, those shows is what 
you know, what we did with Come Dine With Me, uh, you know, you can, depending on the market and depending on the show, like the relationship shows, you could scale down to, to, to a market so they work on their price points or you can blow it up. Yeah. And there's a lot of flexibility in that which a big shiny floor show doesn't have. Yeah. And do you, do you think it's, it's a benefit as well, look at, again, looking at the shows, because the A&E networks, the mix of channels yes. is very, so you, does that give you, not niche bits, but does it target specific audiences for you and therefore it, that helps well, we, buyers? I mean, you, know, depend, you know, obviously our history brand, those shows, you know, alone, as, as we work together on that, you know, leans a little bit more male, yeah. you know, and then with what we've done in FYI, and some of those shows are you know, migrating to uh, Lifetime, um, we, f we find that we think there's a really, really great opportunity in this authentic relationship space. So you know, we've, we, have, we have the two that you just saw. You saw the numbers. You saw you know, in Australia, they, they launched big. And you know, what, what is the, the Gordon show? Um, it's on... Uh, uh, the Gordon Ramsay show that nightmares. The, no, not nightmares. The one, the one he did with Shine um, in the states. It's a Master Chef. Master Chef. Yeah, yeah. You remember? So Master Chef is a, was a format that's actually been around for, I guess it was around what, fifteen years, oh, and, twenty yeah, years, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and Liz and those guys rebooted it. They got it on in Australia. That was the test case. It then went to the states, blew up, and then Master Chef. Chef was everywhere, so I feel I feel very very encouraged, and the team feels very very encouraged that it's, the, these shows have worked in Australia. Yeah, yeah. And then we have another one coming out called Question of Love, that uh, it really has a lot of um, the bite, the intensity, um, the, the um, unexpectedness of those shows, and that's going to be coming out in a year. Yeah. So uh, a, a bit again to give this this audience in particular a chance to to know. I mean, if 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 they were wanting to, to sell a show to A and E as as well as buy. Is, is there a particular, uh, uh, you've done a lot of relationships now, is, is there a particular message that you could give them about what you are, what you aren't looking for? One of the things about the A&E suite of networks is we, you know, we have history, we have A&E, we have Lifetime, we have FYI. Uh, it's, it's really, you just come in with your passion. Mm -hmm. the, the wonderful thing that's happening right now with our networks is you come in with your passion, you might pitch a show to Lifetime. I go, that's really, really great, but it actually has some of the tenants we want on A&E. Yeah. So we're all talking as a big group. And as I said earlier, this group produces collectively you know, 1,300 hours. So there's a, you know, with that, I think, comes opportunity. The other thing that we talk format aside, great show idea aside, which is always the tenant to getting something sold, is as you and I being former producers, what do we always say? You have to be relentless. Mm. You just have to have to just keep um, pushing, pushing, pushing. And for us, uh, there's multiple entry points. There's all those brands. There's all those executives. There's our international guys. That if they see something, they would like to partner up. We're looking for partners, not just not just on the states. So can you? So you can commission locally as, or, or the the, yeah. the various networks can yeah. commission we're, locally we're, as well. We're, we're new in that space, but yeah. we're we're leaning towards that. So, and and is it? Uh, would A and E networks be one of those those channels? Sort of bring us something like we're doing, or come and surprise us? Well, I'm sorry. I, I say, I, I, every time when I was a producer, and when I got a brief, and they said, "This is this is what we want. Mm. You bring us this, we're going to buy this." I never sold the show. Yeah. Every time I brought something in that I felt passionate about, that I loved, that I really, really thought, you know this speaks to me and I think it will speak to other people, I ended up selling those shows. So, of course you get the briefs, you, you need to do the due diligence and do that work, but uh, follow your heart, follow your gut. You know, we could talk about countless, countless shows, countless shows that were passed on, passed on, passed on, passed on, and then it took that one, one channel to say, I believe in that mm. and go. And it sounds like the execs that you're working with are, are those that sort of can develop, can see the kernel of an idea and, and, yeah, and, I mean, and bring it through. A, a, lot of, a lot of these shows were, were self-developed with producers. Mm. They just would have conversations. It's actually very much like a UK process. Yeah. They came in with an idea and then they talked it through and then they talked it through and then they sometimes did some uh, development on it, some sizzles on it. 
and then we believed in it and we launched it. Yeah. But some, some of the ideas, like 60 Days In, that was an existing, that was the back of an ex existing program that we thought, oh my gosh, this is special. And by the way, I guess it's a format. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's where you just went in, uh, a producer or one of your execs saw an existing program and said, hey, wouldn't it be great if we, if we did this? Yeah, there's always, one of the things I love about a &E is it always, we always start with the creative. Yeah. And shows sometime, we have a show called Live PD. This show, this show is, takes six different police stations across the United States and for a three hour block, we shoot them live and we're intercutting back and forth. That show was brought in probably a month or two months after I started yeah. uh, to Elaine. And she worked that show, she worked it with the producers and it's a, it's a, you know, a big hit for us now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's solidified Friday nights. We love it so much, we put it on Saturday nights. And so, the ethos of our company is, yes, we want to work with producers, we want to develop together. There are, are some shows you come in and you go, okay, this is it, not going not gonna to mess with it. But as you, you and I have learned, so Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen in the UK was a show that had celebrities or pun, you know, you know, celebrities in it and, and it was shot over a week. Uh, when it came to the United States, a gentleman named Mark, Mike Darnell looked at it and said, no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have punters, we're gonna shoot it, you know, over multiple weeks, changed up certain things, and that's what worked in the US market. I think you have to be adaptable. Some shows like Idol and you know, X Factor, they say this is how the show is and you're only gonna do this, but other shows you adapt to the market. Yeah, yeah, and so just uh, aware of time, is, is what's next, is, is there a, is, is there a next plan or is it uh, well, I think, business I, as usual? I think we're just really, you know, I wouldn't say we're our infancy, but you know, we, we are open for business. Yeah. And we want to be aggressive talking to producers like yourself. And we want to get our name out there and get us known for, you know, look, look what we've done in, in two years. Mm. You know, okay. I, think, I think there's a lot more upside for us. Great. Um, Paul, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you having so a chat with me. Um, Thank you, guys. <laughs> again, uh, you'll be pleased to know it's not me, um, but, but there will be another session after this, so please, please do stay in your seat, and thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.